What's up, y'all? How's everybody doing? <laughs> How you guys feeling? I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> I'm doing amazing. I am doing great. I am doing awesome. <laughs> I've been like so giddy. I don't know. That's why I came in here laughing. Y'all, I don't know. Like, I just... You know what it is? Is that I've been through so much, y'all, that now life just feels like a movie. Like, I don't know. This shit just feel like a movie. Honestly, y'all, I think I'm going to write a book. <laughs> I think I'm going to write a book. I think I'm going to write a few books. Because the shit that I have to say. Mm, 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 mm. But then I might not write a book. I don't know. What's up, y'all? I love y'all. Shout outs to all the new subscribers out there. You guys are amazing. Um, thank you for tapping in. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for giving me um a thumbs up on my videos. The likes really help my channel. Thank you for sharing with your friends and family. Thank you for spreading the word, sharing my content. Thank you for leaving feedback and comments. I love reading y'all comments. I love connecting with y'all. Thank you. Thank you for everything, y'all. I really appreciate y'all's support. I love what I do. I love, 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 love what I do, man. I really do. Um, and I love helping y'all. I love giving y'all the clarity and the guidance that y'all need. But, um, whew, I don't know. I'm like, the type of energy that I have right now is just, I feel very silly. I feel very silly. I haven't even had my matcha yet or anything, but I just feel extremely silly right now. I actually need to get up and make my matcha. I'm gonna make my matcha after I do this video, but I just feel super silly, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> it ain't shit. I mean, it's a lot of things that I could laugh about, but I just, I don't know. I feel real silly, real playful. Yo, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a great spring. It's going to be a great summer for y'all. Those of you that's been tapping in and you vibing high and you resonate with my messages and you and your empress, emperor energy, I'm telling you, y'all going to have a really great um summer, a really great, a really great spring, a really great summer. I feel that for us. I do. I do. I feel like the spring and summer is going to be, it's going to be magical. It's going to be nice for a lot of us. Um, so that's good. We have that to look forward to. All right, make sure that you guys are being uh, kind to yourselves and others, right? Spreading love, putting love out into the universe, okay? Genuinely being loving, all right? That's, that's, that's the mission, that's the focus. Loving on yourselves, loving on others, being kind and gentle with yourselves, and trying to be graceful with other people, even if you feel like, they don't necessarily deserve it. Trust me, it's in your highest good to just keep your vibe high and to not match their energy. You understand what I'm saying? All right, y'all. Enough of the chit chats. Enough of the chit chat. <laughs> Let's get some messages. I don't know what I want to pull. I want to pull from what that. Because mm, I know what kind of energy I'm going to get out of each deck. So I'm like, where I want to take it? Where I want to take it right now? How I want to do this? <laughs> Let's pull from the Major Arcana first. And then I'll just pull from a Tarot deck, okay? I'll figure out. Spirit to tell me which Tarot deck to pull from once I pull from the Major Arcana first. But let's just get the overall energy surrounding this message. Uh, these cards that I pull right now could be your zodiac sign collective. This may also be the zodiac sign of the person that you are currently dealing with. Could be uh, strong placements in your chart, their chart, okay? Take it as it resonates. But this is the energy surrounding the message that I'm about to give, okay? So yeah, give me a message for the collective today. What's the overall energy surrounding this message? Thank you, Spare. The sun in the reverse. Looks like someone's unhappy, possibly. 
Okay, could be a Leo for some of y'all, but we got the sun in the reverse. Strong Leo energy. Strong Leo energy. Okay, strong Leo energy. Somebody here unhappy, but they 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 saying that they gotta stay strong. You know, they gotta they gotta keep going. They gotta hang in there. <laughs> All right, let's see. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm laughing because it's somebody's karma. That's why I'm laughing. I'm laughing because it's somebody's karma, okay? Somebody's karma is here. The moon in the reverse. Somebody here is getting revealed, okay? They feel seen. Somebody here is, somebody here is getting... Things are being revealed. Somebody here feels seen. Somebody here feels exposed. Somebody here wants to go into hiding, possibly. Somebody here is just putting on a front and acting like they good. But they know that everybody knows that they're being exposed right now. It's a karmic woman, the empress in the reverse. And we have the devil. Okay, this person got a lot of demons attached to them. I don't know what they was into or what they was doing. Okay, this karmic woman has been coming up a lot in my readings and in other readings too. If you guys watch other, um, I'm sure y'all do. Like if y'all watch my channel, I know y'all watch other readers out there because there's so many great readers on here. I'm telling you, like there's so many great readers on here. There's people that's really fucking gifted on here, okay? Like um, y'all know I love my girl, Bella, all right? Y'all already know. Number one, numero uno, that is my girl right there. Bella is my girl. But then you also got Miss Eva, okay? Miss Eva is amazing. I had actually posted one of her recent videos in my community tab. But Bella and Eva, them two right there, you watch them two and then you and, and you watch my shit too. I'm telling you, you're going to get everything you need. I promise you. If you are in alignment, if you are feeling connected to my energy, for whatever reason, you feel drawn to my energy and my channel, I'm telling you. Tarot with Empress Eva. I think it's Emperor, Empress Eva Tarot or Tarot with Empress Eva. Okay. She's a real goddess. She's a real um, truth speaker. She's a she's a real empress. She really bowed it. Her and Bella, both. Real high priestesses. I'm giving them their flowers. They are the bomb. Like, I love them. And I'm telling you, the shit that's been coming up in my readings have been coming up in their readings and vice versa. The things that's been coming up in their readings has been coming up in my readings. And I'm telling y'all, it's because somebody here is like really getting exposed here. I mean, somebody here was doing some dark shit for a long time. For a long time. They thought somebody didn't see this. The high priest is in a the reverse. They either thought somebody's intuition uh, wasn't... Um, Somebody here thought somebody's intuition wasn't strong or maybe somebody was a fake. Somebody was faking that they were gifted. Somebody here could have been, somebody here could have thought that somebody was faking that they were a high priestess. Oh, they ain't really no damn high priestess. They ain't really intuitive. They full of shit. Or somebody here just thought that they had the power to even block this high priestess uh, intuition. But you could never block the high priestess intuition. You could never, sweetheart. I'm telling you, somebody here got a lot of demons attached to them. And when you fuck with this energy right here, you know what happens? A lot of illusions start to play out in your life. So that's what happened with this Empress in the Reverse. Poor baby is living in an illusion. This bitch is in a fucking fantasy world. She could have strong Pisces in her chart, okay, with the moon energy. And the moon speaks of illusions. That speaks of... You know, people not seeing things clearly for what it is. The moon it definitely represents illusions. That that represents hidden, um, hidden agendas, secrets. Okay, shit like that. But with that bitch in the reverse, that means that it's being exposed. Things are being illuminated during this time, and that's somebody's karma here. Somebody here is under judgment. This is somebody's karma. Okay. This is somebody's karma. This empress in the reverse, this is their karma. Now this person want to act like nothing's going on. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they walking around acting like shit sweet, like ain't nothing going on, but they feel it in their soul and in their chest that they fucked up and something's about to backfire on their ass. This person is deep down inside. This person is unhappy. I don't give a fuck what they appear to be right now on the outside. I'm telling you, this person is unhappy. But, you know, they're saying that they're going to be strong, okay? So, we're going to pray for them. And we're going to pray that they also have the strength to handle the type of karma that they reap for themselves. Because I'm telling you, I don't think this bitch can handle it. 
I'm going to just keep it real. I don't think Shorty could handle the karma that she's about to receive. I don't think she can handle it. I, I just, I don't feel like she can. I could be wrong. Uh, I don't, I could be wrong. But you know what they say. God will never allow you to go through something that you're not able to handle. However, when you go against God and you go with God and you go against God's children, it don't matter if you can handle it or not. You're going to get what the fuck you put out. You understand? <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> so buckle up, sweetheart. Buckle up. <laughs> Somebody here needs to buckle the fuck up. Okay? Let's see what's going on. I ain't even want to talk about this karmic woman uh, today, but this is the message, y'all. I ain't know what we was about to get into. I was hoping it was going to be a lovey-dovey message because y'all know I love talking about love. I love to see y'all uh, getting y'all wish fulfillment. I love to see y'all getting y'all wishes granted in love. I love to see y'all, you know, just doing the self-work, healing, vibing high. I love to see that for y'all. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like I love talking about those things. But every now and then we get shit like this because people have to be exposed. The universe wants me to give these messages. Spirit wants me to give these messages. So that's just what I'm going to do. Let's get three more shuffles here. Yeah, people are fighting. You know, somebody here is is fighting. There's like a, a fight breaking out. I don't know if it's a physical altercation. I hope not. Okay, we don't like that. Okay, everybody needs to keep their hands to themselves. But there's an argument. Okay, there's some conflict and tension between a group of people or between two people here. Okay. There's definitely a fight or argument breaking out for sure. For sure. Okay. Yeah. It's like these people not getting along, man. Three of cups in the reverse. Somebody here could have been celebrating too quickly. Thought some, some shit was about to happen for them. Thought they was about to get some kind of victory or success. And they realized that that shit is not happening the way they thought it was. Okay. Somebody here got tricked. Somebody here is like, oh, this is not going down the way we thought it was going to go down. We have the eight of cups here. Somebody's walking away from a situation. Eight of Cups is somebody uh, packing up. They leaving. They walking away from a situation here. Somebody here doesn't want to fight. They want to focus on healing. Okay. It could be an Aries for some of y'all. We have the Fool card here. Okay. But it doesn't have to be an Aries. For some of you, this is an Aries. But for others of you, maybe this person just has Aries in their chart. But this is also somebody that's just taking a new direction. They're taking a leap of faith. This is somebody that's fearless and going for what it is that they want. And with the Eight of Cups and the Food Card, this is somebody going for what they want, okay? This is somebody that feels like they can fly. They, they're spreading their wings here. I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky, okay? I'm sorry, y'all. I know that's like, that's, uh, me singing R. Kelly may not be a good look. I'm sorry, y'all. I hope I didn't offend nobody. But that's the song I just channeled. So somebody here believe they can fly, okay? Yes, baby. You go ahead and fly with your bad self, all right? I'm happy for you, to be completely honest. But we have the star card here, Aquarius energy. Somebody here may be an Aquarius as well. They could be a third party in this situation that is an Aquarius. We'll see what that means right there. Okay, and we also got Cancer energy. So we got Aries, Aquarius, and Cancer showing up very strong here. Okay, somebody here was trying to keep somebody stuck, working together with other people to keep someone in a stagnant energy. Also, check y'all cars. I just got the download just now. Spirit said tell them to check their cars. Somebody here needs to uh, make sure that they are checking their car, checking their engine light. Yo, if you are masculine, which I feel like you could be because you dealing with a karmic woman. So I'm feeling like I'm talking to a man right now. Baby, pop your hood. Okay, somebody got a tracker, some shit like that on your car. For some of you, somebody got a tracker on your car. For others of you, somebody here is just doing something to your car to, to, to make sure that you having uh, car issues, you having uh, troubles uh, with transportation here. This bitch is something else. <laughs> Yo, she's something else, son. <laughs> That's why she going. When I tell you this bitch is going to rot, this karmic woman that I keep picking up on, she's going to rot. She is rotten. I'm telling you, she's, she's rotting from the inside out. She's going to rot. Her looks are about to change as well. Something's going to be happening with this karmic woman. You know, knock on wood, we're not 
praying that for, we 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 don't wish that on anybody on this channel we vibe high we don't wish ill on anybody we don't wish anything for them but what you know what's done is done is what i'm seeing here Somebody here may also want it to affect your appearance collective. And this is exactly why their appearance is now going to be changing. Somebody here's appearance is going to be changing. We have a King of Cups here, okay? And an Ace of Wands and a Four of Pentacles. Somebody is holding on to you collective. Somebody's in love with you. They want a brand new passionate beginning with you. You turn them on, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody is turned on by you. They can't release you. They can't let you go. And this person is showing up as someone that has deep feelings for you, a deep desire for you. I'm hearing deep hidden desire. So this is somebody that could have been high in their desire for you, but it's very deeply rooted within them. They really want you bad. I'm hearing somebody here wants to have a baby with you. Collective, if you are in childbearing age, okay, this person, is, they fantasize about having children with you. They view you as the queen of wands. That's what I'm telling you. Like, you're very attractive to this person. This person is just like, they so into you. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody here is so in love with you. They so into you. They want a brand new passionate beginning with you. This person wants to hold you. I'm hearing, I just want to hold you. I just want to hug you. I just want to be with you. This person wants the Ten of Pentacles with you. But with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like they don't really feel like they in a situation that's growing. This person may be having some um, instability here with their finances, or maybe they just feel like things are on pause right now. I'm sure this person is still stable, right? But they just may feel like things are kind of slowing down. It's like something here where this person feels like something's slowing down with their finances. It's because they with this fucking uh, succubus energy, okay? They with this succubus energy. I'm telling y'all, watch, um, go to my community tab, watch Empress Eva video. She got a video for Aquarius that was on the money because I know for a fact that this is the same karmic woman that keeps coming up in my readings. And, and Empress Eva just really spoke on that shit. It was a reading title for Aquarius. If you have Aquarius sun, moon, Venus, or rising in your chart, or you dealing with a masculine that does, okay, or you are that person, you need to go watch that video in my community tab. I'm telling you, there's a masculine here that was dealing with a karmic woman, a succubus energy, and this is the shit that just keeps getting exposed. It just keeps coming out in the reads. This is who we talking about. Yeah, somebody here was juggling a high priestess, an empress. How you do that? How you do that? Somebody here juggled a high priestess and an, and an empress? Somebody here juggled a high priestess empress energy? What's wrong with you, baby? You have got to have been under some kind of spell. To juggle a high priestess empress, somebody here definitely had you in an illusion. I'm telling you, it's nothing but an illusion here. This karmic woman is living in a fucking fantasy world. And they had this masculine energy and that fucking fantasy illusion based world with them as well but that shit is this masculine is breaking free from the illusion but this karmic woman is still in this illusion she's still tied to this motherfucker right here because what she did was when she started doing all this spell work i don't think she realized that she ended up making a deal with the devil the person that could have been doing the spell work for her or helping her could be a capricorn or somebody with strong capricorn placements but she made a deal with the devil she did and she, i don't think she really realized that Whoever this was, she's silly because she just think of things on a surface level. See, this may be somebody that's not really spiritual. She can't be. She may be religious. You understand what I'm saying? Or she claimed to be religious, maybe a God-fearing woman, but then she turn around and still do evil demonic shit like this, which is, it's crazy. That's some hypocrite shit, right? But then they'll look at us, they'll judge us, the spiritualists. But then they come for us, they come to us for work and manifestation tips and shit like that. You know, it, that's a that's another story for another day, right? <laughs> Anyways, moving forward. <laughs> this person, right? <laughs> they see shit from a very like surface level. So it's like when she, when sis was doing this shit, she wasn't really thinking about like what she's actually signing up for, who she's actually uh, making a deal with. She didn't really think that far ahead. You understand what I'm saying? There's a sacrifice 
with everything. Everything is a ritual. Everything is a sacrifice. If you know, you know. Okay? This chick sacrificed herself. She didn't realize that. She sacrificed herself in doing this work and, and paying for this work and having this work done. This is somebody that literally sacrificed themselves. Yeah. Somebody, this masculine and seeing this person for who they are, they feel like they've been dealing with somebody that's two-faced, somebody that got uh, many sides to them. They feel like they've been dealing with somebody that they can't really trust. This masculine is seeing this karmic woman for who she is, and he's side-eyeing her. You understand what I'm saying? He like looking at her like, yo, like her mask is falling off. Sis mask is falling off. We have the four wands in the reverse. There's a separation happening between these two people. If they're divorced, somebody here is about to file for divorce. But there's a breakup. There's a split. There's a separation for these two people. I can't make this shit up. Somebody here is traveling. They are moving forward. But I'm telling you with the chariot in the reverse, homegirl is trying to fuck with somebody's transportation. That's why I said masculines, make sure that y'all are checking y'all cars. Make sure you are uh, checking for tracking devices, baby. Make sure that you are checking your cars because I'm telling you, this the type of motherfucker that'll do some slick shit here because they know that this is what you plan on doing. This They know that you on a move. They know that you on a go. They know that you about to lead their ass. The world card here, this cycle is closed out. Somebody here knows that this shit is coming to an end and this cycle is closing out. They know this. Ooh, baby. Five of Swords in the reverse. Somebody here just wants to set themselves free. Somebody here wants to set themselves free. Eight of Swords here, Five of Swords in the reverse. Somebody here is like, yo, I don't want to fight. I don't want to play with you anymore. I don't want to argue with you anymore. I just want to detach. Strong Aquarius and Aries energy here and Pisces. Yo, if you in a you if you are an Aquarius or Aries or a Pisces, this is your message, especially if you are a man. And like I said, check the community tab. Go watch Empress Eva Aquarius message because sis be on the money. Empress Eva, shout outs to you. I enjoy you, sis. And, and Bella, you too. Bella, you my day one, my number one. Bella, you, you already know what it is. Watch them. I'm telling you. Put the pieces together with, this, with my messages and their messages. You ain't going to go wrong, baby. Everything that you need is going to be revealed to you, sweetheart. We got the King of Swords reverse here, the Emperor and the Moon card. Strong Aquarius and Aries energy here and Pisces. Could be Taurus placements, Leo, Scorpio as well. Those are honorable mentions. But the main energy in this situation is Libra, Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Aquarius, Aries, Pisces, and more Libra. And there was a Capricorn that was involved in this shit. And there's Leo and Gemini energy here. It's very strong. More Leo and Gemini energy here. Somebody here is, they just saying that they, they got to be, they got to keep their strength. They got, they, they strong. They got this. That's all she keeps saying. I'm strong. I got this. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Sis, I'm going to pray for you. I am. And I really do mean that. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm serious. I, I'm going to pray for you. I am. You have my word. I, I'll send my blessings to you because, you know, this shit is crazy what you was doing. It really is. Like, this shit is despicable. Like, you need help. I, I've been saying this about this karmic woman for a minute. This person really needs, like, therapy. They really need, they may need medication. Like, you really need help. You really need to dig deep within yourself and figure out what happened? You know what I'm saying? Because none of us are perfect. We uh, we all got like childhood wounds and stuff like that. None of us are perfect, including me. I done had a, I done had one hell of a life. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? And there's a lot of work that I had to do on myself, and that I'm continuing to do. The, the that's the thing. The work is never truly done. You you heal, but as you heal, you um you reveal more parts of yourself that still need more work. Like the healing is never truly done. That's the beauty of the journey. That's the beauty of life. Life is a journey. When you really tapping in and you really healing and you evolving and you becoming a better version of yourself every day, you really appreciate the journey called life. You appreciate it. Whoever this is, something here happened to this person 
that just really set them back. And this person has been living in an illusion for a long time. Sis, I'm going to pray for you. I really, truly mean that. This ain't no funny shit. This ain't no laughing matter. I'm not, I'm not joking. I'm really going to pray for you. Because it's like something here happened, baby. Something here happened to you. It had to, something here has had to happen to you for you to like really resort to shit like this. There's, there's a real issue here within Baby, I hope that you seek the answers that you need. You know, this is definitely about to be a learning experience for you. You understand what I'm saying? This is definitely about to be, uh, uh, you about to go through an awakening, I would hope. But you're going to get a lot of karma before that happens. And this is something that is inevitable. This is something that can't be stopped. I'm telling you. This is like the karma that's coming for this person is really... It's unstoppable. It's it's the inevitable here. Yeah. Yeah. I can't make this shit up. We have the Ten of Swords and the Death card. And if somebody here was doing death spells, listen, I ain't even going to go as far as to saying that shit. But if you was doing death spells, this is what you have to look forward to. This shit crazy. Okay. Ten of Swords here. Somebody here is depressed. Somebody here going to be, they going to wish they never did this shit. Five of Wands. There's a fight, altercation breaking out. Somebody here going to wish that they never did this shit. How many times I'm going to tell you that people are fighting? I told y'all, there's an argument happening. There's a fight. There's a discussion amongst a group of people. Listen, somebody here is getting an offer. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here is getting a new opportunity in life. Could be this masculine that's leaving. Yeah, the will is going to turn in their favor. Great for you. Good for you, masculine. I know this has been one hell of a ride for you because you had no idea what was really going on behind your back, baby. And I'm sorry. You know. But it's finally coming out. I be feeling like it's not my place to intervene with people's lives. You understand what I'm saying? So when I, if, if me and you ain't really on it like that and we ain't really talking, I ain't going to say shit to you. I, especially if, if I know that that's where you choose to be at, I'm going to just stay in my lane and keep to myself. But for it to come out in the readings now, it's like you got to know now. Now's the time for you to know. Now's the time for your awakening. So it, it got to come out. You got to know now. This shit is above me. Okay, this shit is beyond me is what I meant to say. This shit is beyond me. Somebody here really... They really fucked up here. I'm telling you. Like I said, I'm going to pray for you, sis. And I really hope that you invest in like therapy or you just find somebody that you could really talk to and, and really open up to and, and seek some healing and guidance from because you need it. I mean, we all do, but you really, really need it. All right, y'all. Peace.